Master Private Hard On, you little shit sack. I have your number. I have your ass. You will not smile. You will not sleep. You will dance to the beat that I will drum into you, or I will tear off your head and shit down your neck. Dave, you are a prick. You love me, do I? <laughs> Look at you, right there, fucking queens, aren't you? I want to see you both in the briefing hall now. Quack. He's watching you, boy. I know he is. A day shy of 20, when the regiment was assigned to guard a crossing on the Injin River. 70,000 Chinese of the 3rd Field Army, just 650 glorious clusters up on that hill. For two days and two nights they held out. Till the ammunition ran out. Third night. So dark. You couldn't see your hand. Tooth and nail only fought to protect him. Held it tight, like a newborn baby. Staring death in the face, right there. Black, close. In the eyes. Men with their guts in their hands, calling mother in the heart of that blackest night. When the order came to retreat, they were not the 650. Just one officer, 64 men, stood up as one and turned and charged. Dirty, commie, bastards! Do your duty, son. You make your dead man proud. You make him proud. Cheers, Dad. Edward, by our deeds, we shall be known. Tories to get the gear, yeah? But if there's a drought on, Dudley's gonna sell this fuck all. Noddy was telling me that he hides his persons in the system. Liberty caps. Fire Garrick, Salva. Heard he's in got fucking mescaline. You think what I'm thinking? <laughs> Hodges, last summer, remember? Are you the twat that joined the army? Yeah, that's me, yeah. Cannon fodder! <laughs> Who coming? Yes. Who's this young lass that is this your girlfriend? Uh, it's not bursting. Is there a toilet? Carry on. Cheers. Oh, oh, please. 
Ah, where could he be? Where could, where could he be? Oh. Hello, Mrs. Ah. Kimmy. Look at you. Look at you. So beautiful. And I love you so much, Kimmy. Do you know how much? Oh. I just can't go. Don't go away from me. Don't go. I'm a bloke. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> I have a present for you. I have a present for you. Look, look for you. Look, it's a green man. And mm, the green man makes you lucky. He makes you have fortune. Thanks. Kiss me goodbye. Oh, please, kiss me goodbye. <laughs> Silly boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> for what you go looking for. <laughs> Listen, uh, Tully, it's been wicked seeing you, but uh, in a few hours I'm going to be off to Iraq, you know, a fight, and it'd be really, really sweet if, you know, just get a couple of, couple of bags. <laughs> That's my beauty. Hell, I'm not going there again. Rick said that last time. Yeah, but last time he didn't pull a fucking bag of weed from a dead dog's ass, and next time he my fucking ass is after. Mate, I was in a threesome with Tully's mum and some green man. What? I can forget it. What about the sister? Did you get anything? Yeah, the fucking plate, probably. Just <laughs> If you had 16 hours of freedom left before being shipped off to Iraq to fight, what would you be thinking about? Death before dishonor, fight or flight, hero or zero? Sexy, fresh, exciting, gruesome, bloody, mysterious, and epic. Great fun. Fun. Good fun. Scary, hopefully. Absolutely fucking mad. <laughs> Welcome to Beyond the Rave.
For anyone who's never fired a gun before, it's fun. Still don't think I want to do one in real life, though. Probably just, you know, I think he's sort of a normal sort of guy. He, he knows how to have fun. Um, he's, you know, he's young and he's in love and uh, he's, he's going to war. <laughs> and uh, there's probably a lot of guys in that situation. So it's nice to play someone that you can kind of have in that, you know, you can relate to easily enough. You know, I'm not some psychopath. I was a bit upset when I saw that I don't actually get to turn into a vampire and sort of everyone else does. I was kind of mainly because I wanted some of those teeth. But I think we're all adapting fairly well because we're all in the same boat, you know. Most of us are on this every, most nights, you know. There's still something, that kid in you that wants to stay up late because you can, you know. Um, so it's quite fun that you have something to do rather than just sit and watch hack on TV. Oh, the